Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to Game Day with Heavy Cardboard, or Kinesia Day here at Heavy Cardboard, where we play, well, Kinesia games. So, <laughs> I'm your host, Edward Euler, joined by the same group. Mike. Shrey. Ken. Martin. All right, today we are for part two of a three-part series today that we're bringing y'all. Modern Art, designed by Reiner Kinesia and published by... It's a shorter list of publishers that haven't published <laughs> modern art than have. Uh, the version that we're going to be playing today is a mostly version of Simon, uh, there with with parts of other editions. So welcome everybody watching live around the world, as well as after the fact. Uh, if you guys uh, enjoy the content that we create here, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. You can join uh, the herd by going over to pledgehc.com. Speaking of which, a big thank you to these guys, all patrons, as well as all of the other patrons out there who help make all of this possible. So a big, big thank you to y'all. But you know what? Before we get started, uh, I figure I ought to update this because two more have come in. So uh, Julian, first off. Uh, so Thank you, Julian. Cheers, cheers to, Julian. Uh, oh, well, maybe. Come on. This is anti-anticlimactic, isn't it? <laughs> Come on. There, there we is. go. Hey. Julian, cheers. Cheers. Now, I'm not going to say who came to be number 800. I will also say SK also joined, but the order in which you guys joined doesn't matter. That's what uh, matters. Woo! Cheers. Woo! Welcome. Now, this doesn't mean we hit 800, now it can drop. <laughs> please, please don't. I appreciate it, everybody. Thank you very much for the support. Uh, so I guess what this means is I'll be ordering a camera this week. Hey, so hey, shopping, hey, hey, Christmas right. present. So yeah, hey, yeah, uh, Christmas present to the herd, honestly, to everybody mm, that absolutely. appreciates uh, heavy cardboard and what we do here. Um, without y'all, I'm not doing this. And without that, I couldn't afford to buy the camera. Camera's gonna be uh, in excess of $2,000, so I really, really appreciate that. And I'm excited, so yay, congratulations. <laughs> so thank you to y'all, and congrats to y'all as well. So yay, all right. Um, so Modern Art, uh, it's a pure auction game. Um, if you, yo dog, I hear you like auctions. <laughs> if you do, there's a bunch of different types of auctions in this game, but I'll be honest, I haven't played this game in a number of years. That guy has, so he's going to teach it. So uh, if y'all are ready, mm -hmm. ready if y'all are ready, let's go. Modern art. Sir. Okay, so the basic flow of this game is really, really straightforward. Everybody gets dealt out a hand of cards, each of which represents some kind of painting by one of these five artists. This art, by the way, was commissioned for the game, um, so it is distinctly interesting. And it, we think it's all Brazilian? Um, all, the, all bar one are very strongly connected with Brazil, and the other, Sigrid Thales, seems to be somewhat connected to Brazil, from what I could tell from the okay. limited amount of research right. I did. Which means Fel probably had a hand in this, which is cool. All right, anyway, moving on. During the flow of the game, basically what will happen is we'll each have a hand of these cards, and in turn, we each turn, we will uh, take one of these art, put it out there and say, I'm going to offer this for auction. We will then have an auction, and we'll do some kind of bidding, well, I'll go into the details of that auction later. Whoever wins the auction will take their painting and display it in front of them, this, this case would be Shrey, and they will hand the money that they're paying for the auction to the person who offered it for auction. Makes sense. However, the person who's offering the painting for auction can also bid on the auction, in which case they'll pay the money to the bank. We continue doing this round and round and round and round until the fifth work of art by the same artist is offered for auction. That fifth work of art triggers the end of the season, at which point that art work of art isn't actually ever auctioned, but the season ends and then we figure out what the value of people's exhibited art is going to be. And we do that for four seasons. And then at the end of the game, whoever's got the most money wins. Very simple economic game. So let's explain a little bit more about how this value bit works. So at the point at which that fifth 
art, uh, work of art from a particular artist goes down, we'll then evaluate the three most popular artists of the season. The most popular artist is always going to be that fifth one that's gone down. Because there'll be five and nobody else will be at five. Makes sense. Even so, though we're not... Even, even though it's not offered for auction, it still goes down. So they get a 30 marked on them. Whoever is the next most popular will get a 20. And whoever's the next most popular will get a 10. If it's a tie, it goes in this direction. This direction? This direction, I think. So if both of those are two, this will be a 20 and this will be a 10. Put this to the right. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then the money that you get is what's on there. So for every painting you've got from the most popular guy, you get 30. Everyone from that will get 10, everyone gets 20. Very straightforward. Then things get interesting for the next season. So we do this all again. The art you've got in front of you all goes away. You get a few extra cards into your hand, but not very many. And we go through this whole process again. Fifth one goes down, we repeat the scoring. Let's say the scoring next time works out like this. The scoring next time works out like this. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so in this case, whoever's each painting from this person will get 40 apiece. This person, 30 apiece. This person, 20 apiece. This person, zilch. Zilch. Because <laughs> <laughs> only the top three of each season will actually be worth anything. So if then the following season, it looks like something like this, this, and uh, this, say. Poor Manuel. Then this is now worth 60. Okay. This is worth nothing. This is worth 50. This is worth 50. Got it. Um, and that's basically how. So you've always got to be in the top three, but the value of the artists um, over time is likely to increase. And that's... That's basically how the scoring works. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, money is points, points, and money, points. Is, money is points at the end. Because we're talking about the art market, where you know, the quality of art is clearly determined by the money. In this is very mercenary art view of the art world, it is the similarity with the gallerist, of mm -hmm. course, which yeah. is similarly an all-money game. Okay, so the one thing I didn't mention was the auctions. I just kind of blathered and said, we, each, we auction off. It's actually different kinds of auctions in this game. So if we look at the cards, we'll notice the card says the name of the artist, the colour which matches the artist, the title of the painting is kind of very small in there, um, but we also most importantly see a little symbol. That symbol indicates what kind of auction we're going to have for this, car for this particular painting. So this little eye is an indication of an open auction or what one might call an English auction. But basically, we just bid. Everybody can bid, whatever they like, chiming in at any moment. We go through this whole going, going, gone business. We even have a gavel to help us with this. Um, well, the gavel doesn't come from the Simon version of the game. Correct. It comes from the Dice Tree version, but we can't... How can you resist a gavel like this, right? So, going up, we continue back and forth, and then whoever's got the highest bid wins very straightforwardly. The second kind of auction we have is the star with a one in the middle, and that is a once around auction. And this is familiar to us from the game we played last with Medici, is exactly the same system. If I'm the auctioneer, Edward gets to bid, uh, he may pass or bid an amount, you get to pass or bid a higher amount, it goes round, I get the final decision to again um, bid or, or let whoever taking it take it. Um, if all goes round and no one's bid, it's a good question. I think I get it for free. I believe that's right. Yeah. yeah. So that's the once around. <laughs> Next on the list is the little lock sign. The lock sign is a hidden auction. Blind you, bid. Blind bid. You'll notice we're not using poker chips. And if you know heavy cardboard, you consider this to be appalling, of course. How could we have <laughs> money that isn't poker chips? The reason is we've got to put money in our hands and do this. Right. And then we reveal whoever's got the most, uh, paid the most, gets the, uh, um, gets the art. If there's a tie, um, a tie is whoever's kind of latest in the round or around um, the circle bit. So if Shrey and Mike tie, Shrey. If I'm the, the auctioneer, right? Yeah. Okay, see, uh, yeah. Yep. Well, 
later in turn order, as yes. it were, yeah. furthest away from the And auctioneer. then you would always win if you... Right, you always try. Right, 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 would yeah. always if, win. There you go. If it's, a, if it's a tie. Yeah, there we go. The fourth kind of auction is not really an auction at all. It's a uh, fixed price. The auctioneer names the price of the painting. If it was me, I would say, say, five um, euros, and then Edward would say, would say whether he takes it or not. If he doesn't, I then pass. Mike gets the choice, I mean, it goes all the Shrey's, way around. So if Shrey says, yeah, he'll buy it, Ken never I even got a shot. Yes. Exactly. Nor did you. Exactly. Okay. And if it does go all the round to me, I pay the bank, as is usual. Okay. So do you have to have, do you have to make the price um, at most, how much money you have behind your screen? Um, that's a good question. I've not run into that uh, situation before. What does it say? The auctioneer may not declare a price which is more than the amount of money that they currently have. There you go. So, yeah, so that's your limit. Be, so that's where integrity comes in. So yep. uh, uh, real quick, if I can interrupt, Martin, you'll notice that you guys can see all of our money. Everybody starts with 100 ducats, 100 bucks here. Uh, but what we're going to be doing is I'm going to shrink the screen down to such a degree that we cannot see. We'll be able to see that we have chits, but we can't see how much we have, okay? And we'll do our best. So if we need to adjust it, just tell us, okay? Okay. And then the last symbol isn't really a kind of auction, it's a double. Now what the doubler is, is when you play a double card, you almost always will actually then play with another card by the same artist. You will then, then take this as a lot of two pieces of art, and you will use the other um, auction method as the auction method for that. And this can't be a double. So it's got to be a double plus something that isn't a double. Now there is a little bit of edge case around the use of the double um, that I need to explain. You don't have to offer a second card by the same artist for the double, but if you do that, then what happens is Edward now has the opportunity, if he's got a card by the same artist, to place it down, in which case he steals the entire auction. Both cards uh, are um, offered, I'll get nothing from it. Okay, so to be clear, so you played... If I play one. this one and I don't put a second one with it... And then it goes to me next yep. since I'm clockwise in order. If I chose to do this, I'm yep. now the auctioneer for this yes. one auction. Yep. Okay. And you get everything, I right. get nothing. Right. If you, pa if you don't put a card down, it goes around. Only if it goes all the way around and nobody puts a card down, then I get the painting for free. Now, that seems like a hell of a risk. Why? But there is a couple of reasons where this might be a good move. For a start, I might have counted the cards and realized that this is the last card of this artist out there in the game, towards the end of the game, in which case I might do it. Another reason that's interesting is if there are already three Raymond Martins cards out there, I put this down, it's the fourth. Now, if somebody puts a fifth down there, the it finishes the season, trigger. the auction doesn't happen, and we get the end of the season. So. That so could both, be. So both of those cards in that case would not count, but it, so it might not actually. Oh, it's still it's would still be. five because five are offered for auction. But there would only actually be three purchased. So yeah. only three would get purchased. That's yes. Right. Interesting. Yeah, so do, that's yeah. the yeah. weird yeah. little edge oh, case. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There. And uh, one thing, uh, tiebreaker is winner uh, in closest to the auctioneer. So it's yeah. reverse of what we said. Closest to the auctioneer. That's what I said. Wasn't Clockwise. It? No, it's not latest. It's earliest. To the auctioneer. So, 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 if, so if Edward, you were the auctioneer, and then I would have Mike would have first okay. tiebreaker. All right, right. So it's, in that case, so it's, okay. yeah. I, including the auctioneer, though. I think yeah. the auctioneer always is last. Is the winner. It, no, we'll have to look that up. I'm pretty sure the auctioneer is always the winner. That's probably um, the case. And also, in the example of what we just said, that because the the auctioneer is always the next player in turn order, right, clockwise. Mm -hmm. If Martin played the second or the first, and I played the second one, I'm then technically the auctioneer, which means then after that's done, it would pass to Mike. Yeah. Okay. So what the rules say, if two or more players tie for the highest bid, then the player closest to the auctioneer in clockwise order wins the auction. Closest to the auctioneer, meaning the auctioneer would be the closest to himself. Well, and the so auctioneer right. always wins. Yeah. Right. But clockwise, right. I would argue that I've always interpreted it as latest in bid, which is interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it's, it's closest clockwise. I suppose closest no, clockwise see, it is the other way around. Yeah, I've yeah. been playing it wrong all these years. All right, well, there you go. <laughs> yes, an auctioneer always wins ties. So there yep. we go. Yep. Okay. 
So how many, um, so you mentioned uh, accounting for artwork. Right, how, how many are there? Right. It's, different. It's, it's, it's varies, yes. It and that's where the tiebreaker for the end of season right. evaluation comes in. So it's, there's 12 Manuel Carveros, okay. 13, 14, 15, 16. So then okay. the tiebreaker is, is left, left to right. Left to right, not right to, yes. Yeah, sorry, I got that the wrong way around, because it's the one go. with the least. So it's furthest in that order is okay. tiebreaker. And it would be it would be nice. The, the other versions have actually put the number of cards and an arrow to mm -hmm. help suggest that, which would be good. But this one doesn't, and that's fine. So that kind of uh, was my fumble my through the teach, but that's all the rules. All right, here we go. We'll put this over by Shrey since uh, Martin again forgot his deck of cards. Not to throw it, Martin. You want to Under the bus. Yeah. yeah, a little bit maybe. All right, Shrey. So, okay. um, just normally, Shrey, so we're not going to move this around just because of logistics and this being on screen, and that's about as loud as it's going to be just to let everybody know. So, um, like, if it's a open bid, Shrey will count, and I'll just, okay, that's that, right? Yeah. So, how many do we get to start? Eight. Okay. And you'll get, um, there's one thing I always have to look up. It's eight in the first round, you'll get three in the second, three in the third round, and none in the final round. All right. And none in the final none round? None for the final season. Yep. So a total of 14. Oh, because you hold them. Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Got it. Okay, so it's 12 and go up from there, right? Yep. Okay. Um... Okay, so hold on. Now that we are ready to go, let me bring up the cameras and everything. So we're going to have it like so. There we go. We're going to make the chat a little bit bigger for you guys. There we go. So that's where everything's going to be. We're going to shrink this, so it's going to be hard for us to be able to see too, too much on this. So let us know if we need to adjust anything. Okay. Uh, what's my policy on crashing the studio? Um, you would have to break into the house, so I would prefer you not. How's that? There's not much room in here. There really is. <laughs> <laughs> We've only had one non-playing participant uh, ever in here, and that was uh, Bianca during the uh, live stream for... Uh, uh, no, two, because Cindy was. Oh, and in, uh, Cindy was in, in here in once as well. The first one. So, and I, I might as well address this real quick before we get started. A lot of people are asking about where Jess is. Um, so Jess and I did split up for those that haven't heard, but that's not why she's not streaming. That she and I are still friends. Everything's fine there. Um, this is hard. Like this is stressful um, because you get critiqued by people. Uh, whenever you play poorly, especially her being a female, um, she tends to be on an island, especially on that, and that's especially hard for any time there's a female uh, on the stream. It's really a shame, but she isn't super comfortable, never has been, so will she be back? I hope so, but that's entirely up to her. You'll probably hear her on the podcast more than you will see her on streams uh, per her decision, so there's that, okay? So hopefully that puts that to rest. All right. Um, that said, uh, Shrey, what are you putting up for auction? What? Oops. Oh, right. You probably want the play rate, right? Yeah. Okay. Details. Okay. I think we will start with an open auction by uh, Manuel Carvalho. Uh, the painting is called Empate Dudu. Well, let's it's take a, a look. Delightful painting. Oh, it's very uh, cool. That is. Uh, I mean, there's no violin playing goat. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that. That is so. Uh, open auction. I'll, I'll bid. I'll bid three on that. Four. It's remember. It's so we'll yeah. get. We'll, we'll give it a reasonable amount of time, but we're not yeah. going to belabor it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll go to six. Um. Okay. So six. Yeah. Going once. Yeah. No. Uh, going twice. Seven. Okay. Current bid seven. Going once, once, twice. twice. So there you so go, seven. seven, seven. So you pay seven to Shrey, mm -hmm. and you own Thank you. that, and that is the first uh, Cavallo. Mm. All right, and auctioneer. Now you know what we should do. And I am a horrible, horrible host. I did not bring challenge coin with me. So you know what? 
he's a little big for this, but Davis will come and how about we pass Davis since we're not sure. passing the gavel? Uh, a little bit closer over here. There you go. How's that? There you go. Mm. Good. All That's right. where Davis is. I can, I can swivel that that way. That's yep, that'll easier, work. Right? Cool. Okay. All right. So I'm going to put up a Sigrid Taller. Ha. It's a fixed price. Mm. So fixed price. So you just pick a number mm. from uh, ni uh, one to ninety-three. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I am I am very high on taller. Um, not only is the art wonderful, but she's in fashion. It's uh, kind of, it's kind of dark. It is dark. It, it yeah, really yeah. is dark. She is dark. So let's see. What's a nice friendly price? For an artist who's certainly going to be worth at least twenty dollars, <laughs> we'll go. We'll go fifteen. Wow. I don't mind a little shared value. All right. So starting with Martin. Uh, yeah. Well, London's never been so keen on Talos, so it'll pass. <laughs> we bricks. Um, fifteen, huh? Wow. That seems rich. Seeing as that seems really rich. Um. But he's thinking about it. He is thinking. Yeah, I need to organize my hand a little bit, so hold on. Um, you know what? I'll take it for 15. Right. Big fan I of like the dark the, arts. I, 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 do <laughs> like, I do like some uh, dark art. So uh, we'll put it out there. There we go. Okay. So Davis moves. Davis moves around. Crumbles along. And who, which, what shall I slip out? Well... Mm, let's, let's let's keep things flying around here with a bit of uh, a bit of Daniel Melin, something with vibrance, something that's got the energy. Um, referred this art piece of art called Girls Two. Oh, that's an important part of the game. Yeah. It really is to try and sell your art. Look at the vibrance. Um, this is something that's destined for a, a long period of time on the on the uh, art scene, um, and it's a once round uh, auction. It's so, Edward begins with the opening bid. Um, well, if this is worth 15, I mean, I, I'm happy to go... I'm happy to go 15 on that. I think it's worth a bit more than that. I'll go 18. I think so as well. I definitely think it's worth more than 15. Is it 18? 18. Uh, I don't think it's worth 18. So, I'll pass. New York. You I think it very well might be worth 18. I just don't want to spend 18. <laughs> <laughs> I will pass. I think it's worth exactly 18, so thank you very okay. much, sir. <laughs> All right. Um, thank you. Wow. Uh, let's go ahead. You know, so I like eclectic. And I feel like uh, Ramon Martins is a, a eclectic artist, uh, very beautiful, very vibrant. Um, if you think that's vibrant, just wait. Uh, <laughs> so this is going to be a blind bid. Uh, yeah, Ramon, he's he's an up and comer. So just be aware of how much things have gone for thus far. So this is a blind bid. So take your time. Don't rush. Thinking about things, on uh, artwork-wise. Um, oops. Oh. There we go. Ah. Uh, you know what? I found his tusk. I will fix that. All right. <laughs> I appreciate that people care, so thank you, Alexander. All right. Right? Good. 16. Less. Less. <laughs> Far less. Okay, so 16. No. So I pay the bank, and I will yep. take Ramon Martins. There we go. Oh, that was Quite funny. a portfolio you're building over there. <laughs> ah, yeah, only mm -hmm. high end. We got four different colors that, right now. That we do. That taller is beautiful. <laughs> I feel like he's biased. <laughs> I may have... Yeah, I'm trying to set the market price on things. Not sure if this is working. Okay. I do think the market is looking for more taller, so let's do a uh, once-around, one-offer auction on 
this lovely taller. They're planting love. Huh. Mm. Or burying love. Or burying. Again, I'm going with the dark theme, plus giving <laughs> that current status. <laughs> Uh, okay. I don't like going first on this one. I bet you don't. <laughs> um, we'll start at a 22. 22. Mm. 22. I'll go, I'll go 25. That was a steal, wasn't it? <laughs> it really was. London is skeptical of this <laughs> uh, particular fashion for darkness, so it will pass. 22. No, it's 25. I'm sorry, that's what you said? Yeah, 25. 25. He opened with 22. Yeah. Wow. I'll go 26. I will gladly take 26. I, I like the other one better, to be honest. I do as well. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> we will bury, bury love right there. There we go. Uh, all right, so... Um, Sir. Um, all right. Quite the interesting discussion of snacks today. Yeah. We, we tend to have a lunch break uh, during game day, like if I cook or we order something, then we take a break in between games. I find I like peanut butter pretzels. <laughs> um, Those are good? Yeah. Pretzels in general? Yeah. Yeah. All right. It's we will snack. put up a... Uh, one, one offer auction of another Manuel Carvalho. Um, mm. Sorry, I didn't read the name of the painting. It is oh, uh, wait, I, Pate I, Rosas. I, I and failed. Oh, it's the wedding singer. This one. There's a lot of energy going on in this painting. It's a bit intense. Yeah. Mm. Le Le Jardin. Cavallo style. Le Jardin is what? What is garden, the garden? The garden. That's what that one was. Mm. And this one is. Uh, sorry, the diver. Mm. Mm. So, all right. I mean, my love for Carvalho is uh, is well known. Mm. It is, and uh, it's this, hard to put a price on such a, a, such a work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will. I'll go with six. Or or can spring a leak? Not sure which. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Six. Here, I'll, we'll do this. Here, we'll we'll yeah, put the artwork sure, yeah. up when it's yeah. up there. Next okay. to the uh, next to the board. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy to pass. Um, yeah, no, that's beneath me. No, no offense, Manuel. Six, you said. I he said did. Six. I'll, I'll go seven. I think it's probably a bargain at seven. Here is eight. And it uh, was a bargain at seven. It was. Mm, it was. I just. And it goes to it just the, didn't fit my goes to the, to the portfolio. Yeah, yep. taking money. Out. Didn't have room on your wall for that one. Exactly. So pass uh, <laughs> one Tuss Davis. You know the artist I've been thinking about most lately. The artist that's really caught my eye in a way that uh, speaks to you. It's hard to fully describe. <laughs> is Ramon <laughs> Martins. Huh. I'm going to offer him as a in a once around bid. And what is it? What What's it's the artwork? It is tween. 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 Mm. The vibrancy T of Martin's is always clearly worth a minimum of twenty dollars. You hope. <laughs> it's certainly worth five. Tween means duck and means garden in Dutch. Oh, okay. I don't know if that's what his intent. Ah. Martin could uh, Ramon isn't a Dutch name, but the Martin could yeah, be, yeah, right? Yeah, uh, so maybe a Portuguese Dutch, maybe right? Because yeah. Brazilian and all that. Um, I guess we're about to find out. We'll carry on. Uh, you bid how much? I bid five. Oh, I'll, I'll go. I'll go twelve on that. It's pretty rare. Or did I do that the other way? This is the most rare. Yes. Yep. Oh, I did it backwards. Okay, so hold on. So allow me to. It's fine. Just there, you, you should already have Eight. an asterisk up there. Hold on, I finished fourth <laughs> in the last game. Easy, we easy. We got these hanging <laughs> chat <laughs> bids. <laughs> last so year, me too. Sounds like eight. Eight. Yeah, eight. Uh, 
I'll pass for eight. Um, I'll, I'll go to ten. Hmm. Ten sounds like a good number. Ten it is. Thank you. Too far? No, perfect. Hmm. So we have two Rama Martins out there. And yes, his style does have a definite ring to it, doesn't it? And I think it's likely to be the top artist of the season. So I think offering this magnificent piece, Tet, with this really mm. striking, somewhat African feel to it. See, I feel I like think that has a bit of a Asian theme to it. Almost like a, a yin yang. Like a yin yang. Like a yeah, 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 a bit of a, right. yeah, that's actually yeah. a good point. Yeah. There's a bit yeah. of yin, I like the, the yin yang, um, or yin yong as we know how to pronounce it. Right. Uh, although it's confusing when we pronounce it because then people think, what are they talking about? Oh, yin right. yang, yeah, okay. Yeah, right, I know, right. Um, but I think, yes, that, that's, that's got that dualistic quality, a, a sense of inner turmoil, um, together with an outwardness that I think is looking for um, money. Um, so, <laughs> I'm, it is this <laughs> is well set up to be the top uh, painting of the season. As a top painting of the season, it's, uh, it'll, it'll be worth 30. Um, so I think... Sorry? Oh, well, right. Well, right, you know, right, when yeah. it becomes the top, when I think Rama Martins is definitely in a position to do that. But I'm going to offer it at a real steal of the price. A mere 15 um, on this fixed price. Uh, I'm going to offer it to Sao Paulo because, you know, I don't know, Sao Paulo is a great interest and I'm happy to do them a good deal. 15, huh? Yep. Done. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's an awfully good deal. Oh. Okay. Thank you, Thank sir. You. It wasn't getting past me, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm. Uh, I was going to take it for 15, no right. doubt. Davis plods along. Yes, he does. Yep. Here, here. <laughs> uh, big fan of uh, Sigrid Thaler and uh, let's go ahead and uh, keep it rolling here I think so we will go with uh, die family or de famille <laughs> mm. okay but I, I think die family seems more thematically it, appropriate. it really is uh, right there right there between those two <laughs> right yeah. um, again I'm noticing a, a theme of what looks like Brokenheartedness. It looks like they have tears. They don't, but it, it could be construed that way. Um, early and often, boys. Oh, three dollars. Three. I'll, I'll take it to eighteen. Okay. Thank you, Brad. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's open. Um, I go nineteen. Mm, I'll go twenty on that. I'm good with twenty. Because let's face it, we know it's going to be yeah. worth at least twenty. Uh, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, probably. Uh, yeah. 21. Okay. 23. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. 23. 23. 27. 27. Ooh. That's a solid bid. I appreciate that. Mm. Um, okay. 27 going once. 27 going twice. Sold. 27. Uh, that'll, that'll do, pig. In the uh, famous words of Babe, well, not of Babe, but from Babe. There you go, 27. And Davis shall saunter along. There we go. All right, well, I think 
I think really the most underappreciated artist in the game Clearly. right now. Clearly. Silvera. <laughs> right. No, not that hack. Is <laughs> 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 Daniel Mellon. Um, I mean, the boldness. It's got like that street art feel. It does. It really does. Um, mm. I think that's one everybody should really want. Right, yeah. Uh, Hang on that wall. Okay. Um, once around, Mr. Uh, um, Mr. Shrey. Mm. Welcome, Michael. Hey, if you guys are enjoying it, don't forget to like, subscribe down below, guys. I'll, 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 well, let me check. At my, look at my hand. Um, I'll start at four. Nope. Wow. Mm. Well, he's going to struggle to make uh, third place, but it's a possibility, depending on how how things break. Is it worth the gamble to you? I'll go five. I will not. So I will pass. So I can take it for five, or I no, have to go six. Big you can take six. it for six. Okay, I'll, I'll take it for six. Six to the bank. Thank you. Might as well stack it right on top. There we go. Yeah. Some people like Malim, and by some mm. people, I mean Paris <laughs> clearly does. Well, the French always <laughs> like to do things differently, yes, right? Yes. <laughs> they do march to the beat of their own drum. <laughs> so what's coming out in New York? So you guys are following a market. I'm creating a market. You know what? Yep. Here, we'll put it over here now. All right, so... I'm going to let you stick with that. <laughs> <laughs> There's that. So this is going to be a hidden closed fist auction. So, blind bid. Blind bid. Another, another lovely painting by Manuel Carvalho, and it's Anacolutos 2. Oh, two. Yes, two. It's in the second. It's, 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 mm. it's, it's I feel a, like that's one of those, you stare at it long enough, mm. it becomes a sailboat. Well, I didn't. Well, if the sales are wider than I get doing it now. For those that didn't <laughs> okay. catch it. At the risk uh, of letting people know how much money I have in my bank, can I make change at any time? Yes. yes. Yeah, right. yeah. Sadly, very short on ones. So, this will be the third Carvalho out. It will be. Mm, hold on. Uh, not me, it's seven. I got nine. I got 27. Ooh. Ooh. Great googly moogly. I, I reckon you will. Okay. So, uh, Martin's collection is the Emperor's new portfolio. <laughs> That's awesome. By the way, uh, Matt says, did you hear the new song by One Tusk Davis called Edward Pays Too Much? <laughs> Everyone's got jokes. <laughs> so... I think at this point in the season, it's clear. Yeah, I, I feel it. How 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 much people are loving Taller yes. and, and her work. Um, it's just the drama, the pathos, <laughs> the amazing craft and command of mind. Uh, and I think the market can bear a closed auction for. Bewegung, okay. which I don't know the translation for in German, but it means a uh, terrifying doll. <laughs> <laughs> uh, quite literally. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> so, <laughs> so many ones in there. Right. 28. 11. 20. 27. Oh, that extra buck did. Oh, All my right. goodness. Yeah. I love your $28. That is beauty. That is. Oh. God bless so that's you. four tallers. Four tallers. Next taller finish is, finishes the season. 
Hmm. Well, looking at the uh, state of the world, I think, um, well, Tala has her aficionados, her fans. Um, I'm going to, you know, put, a, put the word out for a different voice. Um, uh, because I think Raymond Martins deserves more attention. This will be an open English au auction for his artwork, oh, know, Terciero Plano. Um, showing it again, this um, somewhat Asiatic quality. Um, as it's well known, the fluid spirit of Raman constitutes a collage of possibilities and reconfigurations. A kaleidoscopic universe that reflects a deep and rich essence created out of a rebellion to his urban culture background associated to academic reflections. Obviously. I feel like it's cheating to read <laughs> So, for this fine piece, Welcome um, where, where do I hear the bidding? I think we should, you know, you might as well start the bidding 18, at... Uh, 19. Oh, where you are. Oh, it's open, right? 22. Yeah, it's an open. 23. Oh, interesting. Uh -oh. Yeah, it's open. Dude, you just paid 28 for that taller. What are you doing? So, well, 24. I, 24. 25. <laughs> 26. Interesting. So if you take it. 28. Yeah, no. 28, highest bid. 28 going 28 once. 28 going once. 28 going twice. 20. Yeah, Wait, bid, so I'll bid yourself. There you, <laughs> there you are. No, I did it. not. Well, 28. So of course, in, yes, 28. I need $2 back. Yeah. Yeah. Davis, please. Oh. There you are. There's your $2. Okay. Well, Maybe what's the verdict? Just Holder of three Sigrid dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll see. Uh, we will put up Das yeah. Spiel. Oh. Yeah. That's it. Which and means uh, the end of the round is what Das Spiel translates yeah. to. Yep. Yep. So, uh, Martins is at 20. Martins is at 20. Come so, on, this Come will on, go yo. back to the 10. deck, correct? Yep. Okay. Yep. And now you take your. You so correct in. me if I'm wrong. That's ninety and forty. That's yeah. one thirty. That sounds good, right? That's pretty disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> Believe so these red cards are how the game junk yeah. art got created. Yeah. <laughs> right. So. <laughs> uh, and 30. you get thirty, which is you know, a hundred less than one hundred and thirty. <laughs> Checks out, but 30. it's not nothing. Yep. Yeah. Hey, Charlie. Welcome. Thank you. Forty for me. Forty. Oh well, you did. You, you did really well. Um, I might need some more twenties at some point from people, but okay. It's okay. Well, I'm I'm gonna definitely need change. So uh, here I can. Right. I'll just pitch this back and get take two tens. All right. Let me get all the artwork if I can. If everyone has gotten theirs, so you keep, no, your stuff I, that's you keep in the hand, stuff that right? you've currently got, and yeah. I'll deal out three more pieces of do artwork. We, do we? Oh, okay. you deal out three more. Do, not, those do not go to the deck. Thank you. No, they do right. not go so to the hold deck. Hold on. Let me. I'm looking for the. I think that might have been the end. No, nope. Das Spiel was the. I th I believe the first. Yeah. yeah. So okay. let me let me bury Just, that one. Yeah. yeah. There we go. And we'll put so those face up. There you go. Out of the way. All right. Good. Okay. And we all get a little bit more art to play with. And how many do we get this? Three. Round? Three more. I and mean, there'll be three next round, and then none for the. Final okay. So now season. I technically did not auction, but I auctioned sort of. Oh, so yeah. how? Sorry, next round. It goes to the next one. Yeah, I, I felt like I was going to be able to control the market pretty well in that. I think that worked. That worked well. So, Thaler, Thaler did. Uh, what did was the wrong. goal of the game again? The goal of the game is to get money. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mike, welcome. And we'll see how that works out. Jonesy. All righty. <clears throat> Are we allowed to ask how many cards people have? I don't think it really maybe matters. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven. I have eight. Nine, I have eight. Nine. So you've got an extra card. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I started the game. Yeah, that makes sense, right? Yeah, because mm -hmm. he started. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, I don't think that's by accident. I suspect not. <laughs> well, the way I play games, accidents happen all the time. <laughs> all right. Well. Due to a surplus in inventory. <laughs> <laughs> I hear Malim's good. 
<laughs> no, I, I, I think uh, Silvera. Ooh. Ooh. Um, oh. Big never, push on Silvera. Never heard of him. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. Whole, uh, a, new, a new spirit in the uh, art market. Probably the most interesting so yeah, far. Very oh, interesting. I like this. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, so you get a, a good two. It's his art that's on the cover, I think. Yes. Right? It is, it is, sil okay. it is well, a Silvera on the cover, yes. Uh, so two for one deal on a yeah. fixed price, I think. And what are the, what's the name of the art? Um, I have my glasses. Uh, sentimental for this one, and uh, Powerful Instinct. Okay. All so right. where are we fixing this price? Yeah, let me know what I'm not going to be able to bid. <laughs> <laughs> I, th I, think, I think 12 bucks for two pieces of art is like wow. pretty fair. I was thinking it'd be in the 30s. Wow! I mean, it's, he's not particularly enticing right now. Although... What was the, That's two pieces of artwork. Three? You're right. No, you're right. No, wait. I'm, I'm telling 12, you wrong. Sorry. Twelve. I think my powerful instincts say I will pay twelve. I think that was. I think he could have appraised that considerably mm. higher. It right. sounds like it because it went to the first place. But you know, the uh, the French they don't treat money as the be all and end all. You know, they that enjoy to enjoy true, life. That is a true <laughs> statement. Yeah. All right. They just need enough to buy the cheese and the wine, and if right. you've got enough cheese and wine, you're happy. So, you know what's great? No. No, but I have a feeling you're going to influence that. Yeah, another you know, double Silvera. You know what's great is Silvera needs to get moving. He needs, needs to, uh, needs to be, put himself out on the market a bit more than, than just the two paintings. So, we will add Un Grio Nella Mente. Pronoun and, perfect pronunciation. And Vantas. Ooh, another double. Wow. wow. So. What's that worth? This is a once around. I mean, I figure it's worth at least eight. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I heard 12. Oh, okay. Felt about right. Mm. Could have been a gas bubble, though, with the way I've been feeling this week. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's more expensive to speckle a wall than this 12 buck Shrey page. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that, that 40 certainly puts it into uh, perspective, doesn't it? Well. <laughs> mm. I mean, you figure that's exactly what it's going to be worth. Unless. You have one in your hand. That's certainly true. One in the hand would do the job. Who's next up? You are. I'm next up, am I? No, no I am. Ken is. Ken is. Wait, what? You went 40. Yeah, you said 40. Oh, we I will auction next. Yes, that's yes. what oh, we were saying. Right, 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 right. Yeah. So, yeah. No, I'm going to let it go. 40 is not worth it to me. Even if there were 30 a piece, it's still not worth it. I'd be rather be more liquid. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to go 40 either. I will take you 40. I bet you will. It's quite possible the season might end real <laughs> quick. I think it's it may impossible. end fast. No, but I mean like right now. I, as much as I love Silvera's new stuff and I mean, wow. What a, what a, it just pops. What a yeah. dashing entree into the scene. Impressive. Um, Buy one, get one for peanuts. In Love my heart, guys. there's only one secret taller. Or sometimes two. There are two. <laughs> what, are, so what, 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 what pieces are there? We have Hoffnung and me either Said Princess or Said Princess, one or the other. Go I'll Saeed. let you choose your own pronunciation. All right. Let's see what these look like. I gotta be able to evaluate the right. right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like you, you, wanna, you actually yeah. want to look at the art? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of person are you? Hey, I can't oh, see. sorry. <laughs> oh, it's an <laughs> open auction. Yeah. Oh, oh, open auction. Uh, so all who love her may evaluate oops. her in I'm time. Two. I'll go twenty-six. Twenty-seven. Ooh. Thirty. That was fast. thirty-one. Thirty-three. Thirty-seven. 
Thirty-nine. Forty-one. Forty-four. Anybody notice that there's a thirty above the line there? I did. Yep. Forty-seven. <laughs> Forty-eight. Forty-nine. Fifty-four. Fifty-four going once. Uh, hang on. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I just need to process what's fifty-four out there. going one and a half. Times. <laughs> Fifty-five. Fifty-six. Fifty-seven. Fifty-eight. I like prime. Uh, Sixty-one. Oh, oh, sorry. I should. Yeah. Pat, I'm out. You said sixty-one. Sixty-one going once. Sixty-one going twice. Um, what's the next prime number? Of? Be sixty-seven. Would it be? Uh, yeah. But no, I can't go that high. I'll go sixty-two. Six, 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 did you just say sixty-two? Yeah. <laughs> sixty-two going once. Sixty-two going twice. Sixty-three. Sixty-four. Sixty-four going once. Sixty-four going twice. Sold to the man with taste <laughs> for sixty-four dollars. Oh man, I'm so broke. No, you're not. <laughs> you're holding. You're you're rich. A value greater than the world in your hands, right there. I have, I have some potential uh, wealth mm. or capital, I guess. Yep. Mm. Some wing. Hmm. Well, I think uh, yeah. Daniel Millem has been underrated hmm. in a lot of places. Um, particularly with this season looking like it could end at any moment, I think it's a time to consider there's a reasonable shot that he could actually be worth something. So, secret bids for Daniel Melen, please. Uh, hold on. Can I get change for that, please? Uh, ten and five and five ones, please. Ten, five, and five ones. Thanks, sir. There we are. Four, seven, seven. Also, oh. all right. Uh, the closest is clockwise, right, yeah. to the auctioneer. So that'd be Shrey. Good yep. pitch, Shrey. Glory. Thank you. Glory to Rome. <laughs> all right. Oh, I forgot. Yes. To stop that. By the way, and did you guys place your bets out there, peanut gallery? My bet is always on Sigrid Taller. <laughs> there are some players involved. Hey, Kabuki. Welcome. Hmm. Well, can't do that, can't do that, so I have two options. So, Ramon Martins, no, back up, I'm sorry. <laughs> Manuel uh, Carvalho mm -hmm. uh, did a very, very good job last season. But we don't care much about that, because that was last season. So we're going to go a little Ramon Martins. Mm. With uh, Unao Das Correas. I'm butchering it. I understand. Again, Asian influence. Mm -hmm. But I think that I'm going to go ahead and let you guys set your own prices to go with a double auction with Armas de Elite, maybe? So. I would like to remind everybody that uh, last season's influence is still going strong with uh, Mr. Martins. So, uh, early and often, I'll go ahead and throw out a bid of 35. I mean, we'll get it rolling there. 40. Mm -hmm. All right. That's a little bit better. 40. 
Looking for 43. I'll go 41, at least. So, okay. 42. 42. 42. Looking for 43. Do I have 43? I will go 43. Oh. All right. I'll so, go 44. I'll go 47. I'm fine with that. 47. 47 going once. 47 going twice. All right. I'll take 53 back, please. Yep. Gotcha. Wow. I expected that to go way higher, so I'm I'm okay with that. Yeah. Mm. I think everybody's really just saving their money for more Thala. That's, that's really, that's really what everybody what wants. What is that? Uh, oops. Hey, Franny. It is called uh, Leben or Lieben. And it is a fixed price auction. Let me know what I'm not getting to that. Well, so I think... Uh, it's got a strong play to be 50 and potentially 60. Mm -hmm. I, I'll, I'll buy that. Yep. So I think 48 is a good fair price. Nice. Mm. <coughs> Sorry, I can't, I can't see. So these are, these are thoughts. Oh, hold on. Right? I, they are. Yes. Okay, yep. Just making sure. Sorry, I have to bid as much as I can pay for this, right? Correct. Yes. So I can see. Okay. I think 19 is a big, is a better price <laughs> than. Oh. What just happened? I forgot I was broke. Like Do you want to pick Can a different I, yeah. piece? Yeah, okay, that okay. that okay. would be a bit of a. That would be just <laughs> giving it to try. <laughs> <laughs> you put the coin on the table. I forgot I was broke. Yeah, yeah. being Next broke time. doesn't help. Next time. Uh, did I mention liquidity? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. I feel like a a fair replay on that will be this hidden auction. Oh no! Makes me incredibly sad. <laughs> 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 Forty-eight, I thought was a fair price for the Ingrid. By the way, this is yeah, different. I thought that was or, a uh, not Ingrid, Sigrid, Sigrid. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, okay, so a, a <laughs> hidden, hidden. Uh, so you're saying twenty is probably something you'd accept. Um, I mean. <laughs> Is a left hand bid. You know it's a strong bid. Left hand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I like. Hmm. This is a tough one. Oh, hold on. I'm going <laughs> to add to it. There we go. Um, hang on. I, I'm thinking. It's calculating. Calculating. This calculating. Is right. This is the right number. These New Yorkers are just so slow and I easygoing know, right. and laid I back. Know, right. Take the time. Hang on, I gotta, I gotta change this slightly. All right. 27. 20. 15. 36. Mm -hmm. 35. Oh. 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 That's twice now. Short. How does it feel to be a dollar short? <laughs> it feels better than being tied. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, right. <laughs> wow. All right. Uh, so that was... Let's put a bit more money into your coffers. <laughs> That's double what you were hoping to pay. <laughs> <laughs> so... Yep. Um, so is everybody able to follow along? This all makes sense with the, uh, the different types of auctions that are available? We've now seen all five, so... Yep. Okay, so we are going to put up... This is an eclectic painting by the one only Rafael Silvera at full steam. Uh, okay, so that finishes uh, the season. Triggers it. All right. End of season. Okay, so we have first Rafael Silvera. And we have three, three Martin. Three yep. Martins. Yep, so second. Martin. 
And first, or third, sorry. Carla. Uh, could I just get my 80, please? Only 80? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Aren't you disappointed? You, you might as well just leave it in here. <laughs> At 80. There Thank you, you sir. I, yep. too, will take 80. Have you got 20? For a, I do have 20. Yes, we'll do have a, uh, probably want more change in it. I, give you 100. I have, you need. I have way too many 20s, so I'll just give you two 20s for, for my 100. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, <laughs> could the I get rules a, make sense. Could I get 100? Those bids don't. 100? <laughs> Under no circumstances. Thank you. All right, can I get your artwork, please? And okay. how many do we get now? Three. Again. And this is, yep, and that's the last handout. This is the handout. last that you're going to get. Yep. Okay, so, so the, you triggered that, right, Shrey? I so did. it's going to be, Davis is there. So we have two yeah. rounds. We are halfway home. And that's indeed all the cards. So every, oh, well, yeah, everybody look down at your own cards real quick. That's what I just drew. Just so everybody can see that, and that's where we're at, hand-wise. Okay? So. The art world has been confounded by the, this question for years now. Will there ever be a market for Danielle <laughs> Moeem's art? <laughs> I don't know the answer, but I know that it's not starting here. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies to Daniel Moline if you're watching. <laughs> I do feel bad because he's a yeah. real people well, also, and, yeah. and probably I might actually like, like his art the best out of all. <laughs> well, no, I'll be honest. So uh, honestly, I think the uh, Silver Silveria. Uh, Milim and Thaler, I, I enjoy the most yep. between. Yep. So yeah, but uh, but we're gonna kick off instead with an extraordinary artist who has been uh, been crushing things for for two seasons now. The inimitable Ramon Martins with his pieces Bijou de la Curie and Teletransport. Hmm. Uh, you only get one chance, folks. Matt what has kind a of question for you, Martin. It is a once around. What was around. the goal again? It's <laughs> to accumulate money. <laughs> Not to accumulate art, to accumulate money. Correct. Art is merely a tool. It is All indeed. Right. For a piece, for two pieces likely to be worth a minimum of $60 each. You hope. Okay. So, uh... Once around. Yeah, once around. All off of 58. Sixty-seven. Seventy-four. I will pass. Hmm. This too could be yours. <laughs> I think I have to take it for 75. I think that's too low. 75. Okay. I think that's probably a fair statement. All right, Martin, pass. Mm. Well, it's time for someone who has been uh, a bit neglected in recent seasons to come forwards a little bit, although, I mean, I'm not saying I'm going to offer up Daniel Mellon, <laughs> but <laughs> it Let's is time for this excellent away. pair oh. of paintings oh. from Manuel Carvalho. First we have, um, oh, I need my glasses to read what the title is. First I have um, Chena de Interior, a, f a um, evocative painting. And next, Anakulutos, which is, again, shows his fascination in line and texture, um, where the human face is but an element 
in the ongoing conversation between these two pieces. One of the great things about Carvalho is just his range. I mean, you look at those two pieces. Mm. They are starkly different. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I think it, it, uh, a superb pairing. Now I realize, however, that you know, people are skeptical still of his um, staying power. Not me. But um, I think a price of a set, so setting the price, it's going to be a, a generous offer. Um, but not too generous, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think we've got a good, I mean, we can definitely put this out at um, $40. Ooh. Sold. Yeah. It's a good Bam. Damn, that was too easy. <laughs> I didn't think hard enough over that. All right. So, I think the time has come oh. about Daniel Malim hmm. and to discuss whether or not he's ever going to make Be his mark <laughs> here in the art world. Okay, so we discussed it, so now that we're done with that, we are going to continue Manuel Carvalho's uh, Passagem Com Passaros, uh, which looks like a 3D that got spilled some extra graphic paint on it. Are you not making me want to buy that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. But look at, the, yes. look at his variation. Uh, yeah. So once around, so yeah, it's uh, once around, right? Yeah. Yes. I remember he's all the, he will win ties, right? And three is a pretty good number to have. But I know what I was gonna do next auction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dog. I hear you I, like Carvalho. I think tw yeah. I think twenty one is fair price for that. It is fair. Um, I don't think it's, it's probably not going to win. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's I don't fair. think. I don't know how I feel about Carvalho. Oh, I was pushing him in the, in the first season, but you you've cooled on Carvalho. Cooled on Carvalho. Yeah, uh, but I think uh, I'll, I'll leap back in with a twenty three bid. Yeah, a small jump. Yeah. Here, I'm just I think put that there. <laughs> I think twenty nine is gonna is gonna pay me back at least a little, so I'll go twenty nine. Hmm. Yeah, twenty nine is a good bid. So I'll pass. I'll take the 29. Got a one? Uh, I do have a one. Thanks, sir. Yeah, good doing business with you, partner. Oh, you know what? We share a love of Carvalho. Yeah, what can mm, you say? We do. I mean, you why do. wouldn't you? I mean, all these other troglodytes out here. Yeah, his, his works are uh, Breathtaking is an understatement. When Tuss Davis has another tune, Martin uses money for wallpaper because he don't <laughs> he don't like art. Uh, I love art. <laughs> <laughs> Take it we're not gonna not gonna see a whole lot of Carvalho coming. <laughs> or maybe we will, but Who we're knows? not gonna see two Carvalhos. I'll tell yeah, you that. Certainly not. I mean, I would endorse two Carvalhos. <laughs> I think. What the people really want. Oh yes, yes, yes. Nope. It's just they can't get enough martines. Oh my god. Whoa. They just really the martines I mean look at the track speaks for itself. And we have two pieces here. Uh one is, I can't read either of those. Oh certainly can't read that one. Uh this one is called Made in. Primero and Contro de Casamento apan, Apanjado. Perfect Thank pronunciation. Yes. Thank you. That was that was beautiful. Uh, by the way, for those scoring at home, um, just because we hit 800 doesn't mean that has to stop. <laughs> <laughs> just, just to be clear, uh, that'd be great. It is the giving season. Just just throwing that out there. 
and this is an open auction, so feel free to shout out. Oh, it's open. Your favorite mm. price. Well, uh, I'll, open I'll open it seventy-five since that's uh, what I yeah, paid for. Yeah, uh, mm. eighty-seven. Ninety-eight. Hundred and one. One hundred one. One hundred nine. One hundred fifteen. One hundred sixteen. One hundred seventeen. One hundred eighteen. One hundred twenty. Hmm. All right. One hundred twenty going once. One hundred twenty. Going twice. 121. Current bid 121 looking for 122. Do I hear 122 to 122? 122. 122 looking for 125. 125. Anybody 125? 123. All right. 123. <laughs> I'm just trying to. It's one, try, 124. Try. All right. Like I said, <laughs> He's All still right. looking. 127. 127. 130. We got 130. Wow. 130 Simon fake bucks. <laughs> 130 going once. 130. 131. 131. Australia in the house. What's up, Luke? 131 going once. 132. 132. <laughs> I thought you were broke. <laughs> <laughs> Was. I made right. some money last round. <laughs> <hour. laughs> 132, 132, 132, 135, 135, wow, lots, 141, lots. Wow. 141, I'm done, <laughs> 141 going once, 141 going twice, uh, leader in the clubhouse, Ramon Martins. Martins, yeah. looking yeah. good. At 141. Mm. You know what I feel really good about? 75. 75? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That 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 was uh That's looking was like free a good money. Deal. Well done. Shrey, do you have any room more Martins you'd like to play out? <laughs> uh, I think I think I'm gonna I think the answer hard. is don't matter. <laughs> because if he don't mind, <laughs> it don't matter. Um, double checking the types of auction that I have in my hand. Yeah, I don't think it comes back around to me. So. All right, we will we will bring a new artist into the season because we only have two so far. Is that correct? That's uh, right. That's right. That's right. That's yes. So uh, yes. So this is a vying for third place artist. Mm hmm. Can then could potentially hey, jump up the ranks a little bit. With a Rafael Silvera dissonance, dissonancia. Dissonancia. Mm. All right. Mm. Oh, it's Cactus Lady. Cactus Lady, yeah. Yeah. You know what feels like a good number for that tray? What feels like a good number, Ken? 39. Mm. Yeah, so it does feel like a good number. That was the kind of number that I was thinking of as well. <sighs> yep, I'm going to pass. 40. 39 was a very good number. Pass. Pass. It's a good round for Shrey. Well, mm -hmm. it's okay, right? Because, I mean, it's worth 40 right now. So, yep. The key here being right now. Folks, this portfolio is not getting better. Let's do that. Okay. Yep. All right. So, I don't mind having, uh, yeah, Break I took even. the risk. So, so, 30 was on Raymond Martin. Yep. 10 on Severa. Mm -hmm. 20. So that looks like a hundred for me, please. One forty. One forty. Paid a dollar. And over. one uh, <laughs> one sixty over here. All right. So what's everyone's cash at? I just wanted to see if it'd work. I was going <laughs> to <laughs> Larger than zero, less than a thousand. Oh, fair enough. All right. So, <laughs> final round. Martin begins. Mm. Here we go. Where to pull those cards out? Which ones do I go with? Well, 
I've always been a strong believer in pushing for the um, underdog. And we just have not seen enough of Daniel Melim out there. And we're still not going to. Because I think it's time for Raymond Martins to show even more of his great stylistic power. Again, there's that hint of mystery behind the colouring of the face. The, the, the darkly lidded eyes is a, all questioning what's out there. Ready to enhance the collection of all the great cities that have bought the work of Raymond Martins. Um, would you like to open this first round? This no. Oh no, it's a it's secret it. bit. Yeah, so, is. we see in previous seasons, um, artwork has gone like this. We're looking at a very strong 70, 80, 90 for this kind of price, I think. I think we're looking at a very good deal indeed. Oh. The question is, what do you want to have to take the most significant artist of our time? Yeah, it's going to be a right hand bid this time. <laughs> How much did you okay. get for yours, real quick? 140 for my two. So that was. Oh, I got. Oh, yeah, my total was 160. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. All right, here we go. All right, so I did like 67. I did not. 61. 79. That that checks out. Interesting. Thank you. Interesting. Hmm. 79, huh? So you got 160 for your. Previous amount is that true? Correct. So you should have sixty in total. You had two right. things. So you want forty. You should have got one seventy. I should have got one seventy. Yeah. Oh. All, right. All right. Everybody, look Thank down you. for a moment. Look down. All right. I'm looking down. So here is my decision: either that or that. Okay. All right. You guys can look up now. Um, so it's. I can make a case for either one of those. <clears throat> uh, you know, Rafael Silvera has had a strong year in 2019 mm -hmm. and thinks he's going to close it out pretty, pretty well with uh, Entangvio, maybe. Ooh, a double. And to go with it, kind of a, a ode to, to Thaler, who apparently is a very good friend, <laughs> also include a walk in the garden. Mm, a, a fine piece. Mm. It is. And it is open for your, uh, your choice. Um... I mean, we'll start the bidding at a hundred. We got a hundred looking for a hundred and ten. Anybody, hundred and ten looking for a hundred and ten. Go one hundred and one. One hundred and one. All right, we'll go one ten. <laughs> one ten looking for one fifteen. One ten looking for one fifteen. Anyone? One ten current bid. 110 looking for one fifteen. One ten going once. 110 going twice. Sold. Interesting. I think a forgotten artist, 
<laughs> what, Melin? Uh, no. Who? You're going to push Melin again? No, no. Well, not. He's not forgotten. I mean, you never know. I like how you said who. Yeah. <laughs> who? Uh, no, the great Manuel Carvalho. Mm. Oh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a Car I'm a fan of Carvalho. I'm a fan of Carvalho. Piece of work named Shunga. Speaks for itself. <laughs> oh, <good. laughs> it's, it's like Mickey Mouse meets yeah. clip art meets uh, ransom note. Yeah, a little, a little yeah. sort of. But there's something so to be said for that. Hand. It's provocative. Yeah. Vibrant, right? so it's provocative as well. Yeah, something to be said for that uh, vibrant. So it's an open auction. Oh, I'll, uh, uh, I'll put twenty down right away. Uh, I'll go twenty-five. Thirty. I'm not going to sell your own art for you anymore. I, but. <laughs> so 30. 30 going 30. Th anyone? I'll go 31. I'll go 35. I'll go 36. I think there's more to come from Carvalho. 36. 38. 38. 38, looking for 39. 38 going once. 38 going twice. Do you ever have two ones? I do. That's a 20. All right. Take your two, or your art, sir. And Shrey. Okay, so. I think we were putting up a fine artist who has proven throughout the year that they, you know, they have the good stuff. And time will tell if they end up being the best in the season, but for now, we'll put available another Rafael Silvera called Time Will Tell. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, nice, nice segue yeah. in there. Very yeah. apropos. Yes, I like the, the wheel um, and the ribbon. I'll, mm. I'll, I'll do 42 to start. Oh, 43. I mean, two sold for 110, yeah. right? So, uh, all right, 43. 45. 46. I'll go 47. 48. 49. Do we hear the half century mark? I go 50. Martin? All right, current bid is. 50. I don't do even numbers. Look, look, looking for a prime 51. I'll do 51. There is 51. 52. I'll go 56. 56 going once. Going twice. 50, <laughs> whatever, what was it? It's 56. 56 going and twice. So, it's old. Thank you. He's like, sell it! <laughs> sell it <yeah. laughs> Take the money. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Pleasure. I should All right. make some change. I got some, so much. No, no, you already. had it right. This is good. There you go. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Okay. I've got too many 20s. Everyone loves him. Everyone needs him. Needs him. Everyone knows. He's been the consistently best performing artist. You do not have more of this for the entire year. <laughs> how, how is there any more left? Uh, and everyone knows that his work only gets better. Time after time, the evergreen Melin? Ramon Martins. Ah, Ramon, Ramon and Martins. Moria. How? Your only chance in this once around auction is to bid for the stars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're in the bright side, it's not an open auction. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
55. I mean, for a Malim. For a Silvera. <laughs> 74. 55. I'll go 70, 75. <laughs> 75. Pass. 75. Yes. I know in my heart it's worth more than that, <laughs> but we're friends. I'm not <laughs> Thank you. Or to be liquid, he'll take the 75. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I will take this opportunity. To okay. All right. Hmm. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna show my hand if that's if people yeah, can yeah, look. I'll just put it under the camera. Yeah. So yep. hopefully that will be people can see what I have. And my choice is: Do I want to do this right now, or do I want to do this? Well, it'll be that. Um, and it's tricky because I'm looking at the potential values that I'm going to, I'm thinking of the money I can get for these, and it's not to me an obvious choice as to which way to go. But I'm going to lean to a decision, and I'll, I'll probably wait for him to come back before I Okay, reveal. all right, good. All and right, good. we'll uh, see where we're heading through. So I hope people are following it. It's a this is a tricky game to stream, I think, because a lot of it's the uh, the interaction at the table. It is. Um, yeah, I'll be honest. Like this backfired. Like that did not work how I wanted it to work. Obviously. Um, Do you have another double you could play on your hand? I have. I have. <laughs> I have. I would vote for that. I have that many cards. Yeah. Um, yep. Hit so, me. Hit me. Yeah. I should have stopped at the 101 on that. I'm angry at myself for that. Yep. Apologies. All right, so it sounds like there is going to be... It's going to be a Cavallo. Ooh. Tato Gem and a La Falta de Espacio. Two interesting pictures. Again, with a great complementary quality, I think. This very sparse, um, almost... Uh, uh, suggesting electricity and the making, circuits. Making change, folks. And here we have a more vibrant quality. And notice no overlap much in the color palette so that they will blend nicely on your artwork's walls. It is a secret bid, so you have to decide. We have already some back money there. This will pro propel it into a good um, forward position. I'm thinking he's going to finish the season worth at least 50, so I'm thinking we're looking at around 100 here. And um, that's what you've got to consider. Anything under, anything over a under 100 is pure profit. Everything, everything under 100, over 100 is... Is pure, is... Yes. Pure speculation. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think there's a good chance of stuff coming through. If it's everything, over everything over zero is pure profit for the seller. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 67. 68, sorry. 72? 61. 91. 90. 90. 90, 90 okay. it is. 90 it is. Thank you. I still think you should have, oh, should it was worth 100, but well, who am I to argue with? with uh, so the Madrid. reason I didn't bid higher on this, on that last one, is because of the fact that I think we have to, is I wanted to stay liquid for this next auction. No, it's got to be. So, um, early and often, I don't even need to. It's going to sell itself. That's breathtaking. Uh, ornamental mm. by Rafael Silver. Uh, open auction, begin. I mean, I'll start it at 35. I mean, it's going to go far higher. 43. There you go. 43 looking for 45. 43 looking for 45. Um, 69. 
69 is a real bid, sir. That is quite a bit. That is 69. 69 looking for 73. 71 actually is prime as well, so. Well, that would be an interesting uh, choice. Wait a minute, so. Okay. I mean, no, the maximum. It can't, it, can't, it can't be worth more than that. It isn't. <laughs> <laughs> 69 is exactly the number. <laughs> Make a dollar. Out of it. 69 going once. 69 going twice. Shrey knows how to make a dollar. Do you have a buck? Uh, I do. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Because, of course, it can be no more than 70. Yeah. So, 69 means Shrey makes a dollar and Edward makes 69 more dollars. Yep. That works out. I'm, right. a, I'm in a rough spot. Enjoy, enjoy your last auction. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a rough spot. <coughs> you got a handful of millimes? I sure do. <laughs> I think we all do. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe this is the time to get them out. You could make a light surge. I'm curious what, uh, what people have in their hands. With them. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, that would be. I made my gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, for me, it's either end it or put up garbage. So. What? Well, I mean, you believe. I, I mean, Tala, Tala could make a late you break through. You can sell me and end it very easily. <laughs> 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 If I could give you money to end it. My, I'll put my best asset forward, which is not saying a lot, yeah, uh, for this a good history. This card that came up last round that I couldn't afford to buy. No, you, you hinted at <laughs> it, was, it, was, it, was a, it was a teaser. It was right, a yeah, teaser. Right, yeah. Um, you know, I think there's a chance some people are still holding dollar, so maybe you can make a surge. Could could happen. Could could I mean, who wants Martins to Sit. succeed again? I mean, right? I mean, other than Mike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, I could get on board. Well, with there that. is that. <laughs> uh, I think forty-two. Forty-two is the uh, is the auction. What artist is this? I can't see. It's a Martin. Martin. That's a Martins. Okay. Um, then I'll pass. My love for for Taller is well known, but. I don't think the market can bear more than forty-two. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let that one go. Is forty-two is a, forty-two is an excellent price. I think you'll, <laughs> you'll uh, find you've made I'll a good deal it. with yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I think you will. Uh, it is, it is all about life, the universe, and everything. And, yep. and you can pay that to the bank, sir. Okay, <laughs> Shrey. So we're sitting here watching the game play out. The the pace of the game, the <laughs> tempo, you know, it, it's really important to understand when the game could end. So, end it? so, as a final, final statement, in this wonderful year that we've had, I'm going to put up this Raphael Silver <laughs> Allegory of Time Opus 1. <laughs> <laughs> and that'll end the, and that the ends. game. All right. Uh, 20 goes on Canario, and 10 goes on Martins. Daniel who? <laughs> uh, so, that did work out barely. 70, mm. 140, please. Uh, here, hold on, 140, make it 200. There you go. Uh, 80 for me, please. Do you have a 20? Um... I do. Or a combination of dollars that would add up to 20. I get 70 here. So yeah, hundred. that's what I ended up with for those, uh, oh wait, for those scoring at home. There we go. Yes, yeah, so this is, this is mine. Oh, wow, you right. Right. I, I had a whole bunch of Silveras to oh, go. Wow. My choice on my last auction was to do the double of Manuel Carvalho or do a Silvera. Well, and, and I decided what you chose, the Carvalho mine was, was between the Martin and the uh, Silvera. So, and I had a Tala. I could have taken a bit more Tala as it, so. come, as it come around. All right. 50 and 70. 80 and 150 and 70. 300. 80? Yeah. 300. Oh, wow. Good game. Wow. Uh, 100, 200, 300, 340, really 50, 60, 70, 470. Oh my god. 470? Yep. He's got it. Yep. Wow. Yeah, four, 478. So that's 47, 7, sorry, 477. 
Well, there's your winner, yeah. Martin, 477. I, I, I 141. Uh, that, that will not get it done, sir. I'll, I'll see myself out. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I have three. So what were you, what were you again, Mike? Uh, 141. 421 here. 141. Ken was what? 421. 421, that's pretty good. Shrey? 328. Shrey, 328. And 338. So I paid you the uh, I paid you the sixty nine to try yeah, coming after you. Yeah, <laughs> and I had one, two, three. No, I t uh, no, I tell a lie. It's three hundred and not four hundred. Oh. Ken has it. One, two, three. You're darn close to four hundred, though. Three forty, fifty, sixty. Th yes, yeah, three seventy seven. Oh, yeah. there you go. All right. So Ken won it. I was like, dang. I, I mean, I knew Martin's strategy was a good one, but yes, I felt like um, that round got that last round got it for me. It did. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. So uh, Ken first, Martin second, me third. Uh, so de halfway decent teacher. Then Shrey, and then uh, Mike. Thanks for playing. Yeah. Appreciate it. All right. Fodder. Okay. So uh, Mike, I assume first time playing Modern Art. No, I've played it no? before. Okay. It's just never really clicked for me. Okay. This is a hard game mm -hmm. to judge. Yeah. Um, um, it's such a dynamic market. Yeah, tell yeah. me about <laughs> dynamic markets. Yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, th I think it's a well done game. It's it's fun. I'm just never been any good at it, and uh, happy to keep that streak alive today. Yeah. <laughs> you like it though? No, yeah, yeah, I, d I definitely like it. I think it's fun. I I never played Medici before earlier, and I'd say I like that better than modern art. Fair enough. Yeah, no, I I played this. A few handful, I think maybe just over ten times, and I don't, I don't think I've won this. I don't think I've even come second in this game. This is this, this does not not work for my brain. Um, the evaluating, and you know, you can count how much potential for the game, for the, the for the um, for a piece of art when it comes up, or two pieces of art. The 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 difficulty that I have is um, not paying the people. That you're competing against, right? Because you're giving them points, right? Yeah. And uh, Martin did well on that, not quite well enough, uh, right. but it still worked. Yeah, and, and it's I, a viable strategy. Yeah. It is. He never bought art. Yeah, no. he never made yeah. money not, off not art. Not a single yeah. piece of art. Yeah. yeah. And 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 I I'm comfortable with that strategy because my theory of this game is that it's is that you go into it and you think oh it's all about trying to buy art and you know buy low sell high, and my feeling is it's nothing to do with that. It's all about manipulating the art market so that you have the most valuable cards in the last couple of rounds, yes. and then you can sell those cards for lots of money. And so what I was trying to do was purely that. I was purely about trying to manipulate, and unfortunately I was stuck with two doubles with the same artist and only one other piece of art until the final rounds. So I was limited about a manipulation as to how I could actually get my doubles to pay off. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's much like... I'm trying to think uh, a Paris Connection or, uh, uh, yeah, Paris Connection where a lot of people, oh, you want to build, no, I'd rather just invest instead of building track and let you guys do the work for me, essentially. Right. Um, but yeah, the, I overpaid grossly on, on a couple of these and made a couple of really big mistakes that as soon as I made them, I knew I'd made them. Um, for as much as I enjoy auctions, you would think I would enjoy modern art more than I do, but I would put both of the other games that we're mm. playing today above mm. this, as well as Neuheim at Slash the Estates and yeah. a number of other games. A lot of people call uh, Age of Steam essentially an auction game mm -hmm. as well. And But yeah, modern art has never clicked for me either, and I struggle with this game. But Martin's right. It's all about controlling the market yeah. and being able to... You want to be able to stay liquid to be able to put up, especially the fixed price auctions, put them up high enough uh, to be able to maximize the value on those. Yep. Well, in fact, that's just actually, I think it's part of the reason why I like this so much. Why well, I just find fascinating the fact that you've got a completely arbitrary set of artists, so there's no real distinction between them other than how many cards they've got in their position, which is yep. really minor. And then totally different valuations, purely driven by what we're doing and pushing out and what we think other people are going to buy. Right. I mean, people always um, hit on Knizia for not being at all thematic and, you know, his games are very dry. This is one of the most thematic games I know. 
I mean, the theme of, you really feel this is how the art market really works. And well, supply and demand at its, yeah. at its core, right? And, you know, I love dynamic markets. I love watching how prices change. I don't know of a game that's got a better dynamic market than this, frankly, that I really does shift in unpredictable directions. And I find that fascinating, watching how it shifts from game to game. So there's two things about this game for me. The theme comes through in selling the art in a way that, like, ju the fun factor is just there. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, saying sort of funny things about <laughs> yeah. the artists, yeah. right? Like, trying to dial people in. Um, that's just, a, I, I have a lot of fun with that, and I think that makes this really appealing for me. I also love that the art is just gorgeous. Like, it's a really fun mm. game to look at. In this edition. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair. <laughs> Uh, the other thing is... We'll touch on that in a bit. It's really hard for me to say, like, what is better, because, I, I mean, it's weird to say, because the games are both auction games, but this game really could have been more different than Medici. Mm. Oh, could, yeah. It couldn't be, right? Yep. But what this game has, that, that that game, and I don't, I have never played Rob, but I don't think it will have either, is because of the hidden information, there's, like, a heart-in-your-throat feeling as other players are going around. I'm always worried that one of, my art, one of the pieces I've bought will not have any value that round and that tension is I I love that. I think that's really fun. Mm. Yeah. I'm not super keen on the random draw yeah. Uh, yeah. about this game because you were mentioning a variant too, right? Right. And I've have played uh, several times where at the beginning of the game you separate the doublers and everybody everybody gets one to start the game to prevent the situation where someone just doesn't get any. It's uh, likely you'll get one throughout the game, and uh, but I, I don't. Th I think everybody have had at least one, right? Yeah, I think so. I only saw one, and I don't know how many how many there are in the. In the I think I saw three, but one of which uh, I I didn't have it. And the doubles a are pair the doubles are really strong because yes. because yeah. they, you are selling two paintings. You yes. will get yeah, it's powerful. It, it'll you'll right. make that art if the art is stronger, and then you you'll get paid probably not maybe not double, but a, a good amount. So um, I find that that's. In terms of card draw, I, I I would like a little bit more control in the base rules on, on that, but um, but it's fine that it's it, it is the worst the way it is. I, I I think it's just a different game, where it's completely random like that. And that's yeah, that's. But, no, I mean the game is is open to a lot about not just the randomness of the cards, which I think do make a fair amount of difference, but also the the randomness of you know you can play a perfect game and lose because somebody else bids overbids for something. From somebody or, else. I mean, or, right. or, there's a like, lot of that. The, the order, like, yeah. I, the, who, who has a card next to you, right? Yeah. Right. If I if I put something out, like I, I you know I, I let Ken win something that I that I, I could have won because I figured he might then put more for because yeah, right. I, 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 I was literally yeah. just going to bring up the shared incentive thing. Yeah. Like there was times I wanted to win an auction that I intentionally let it go. Because I want somebody to have that shared incentive. Yes. Because yep. if I have three of a painting, no one's going to put that up. Yep. And if I don't have enough in my hand or any in my hand to be able to make it viable, then it's I have to allow that to happen. You have to allow yep. that to happen. Yep. Yeah, that's part of the manipulation thing. I don't really want to win an auction of a painting of art cards I've got in my hand because <laughs> or, or I want somebody else to get the desire to <laughs> um, push things up. Yeah, yeah. no, I mean... I, I think I bought my own art one time, and it was when I just knew it was undervalued. Right. Mm. Uh, but it's not the only time you should. You don't. Yeah. You yeah. don't. You don't want to buy it ever. Yeah. Right. And I. Yeah. I, yeah I made mistakes were made. And I, I just want to say again, the table stakes <coughs> for a Knizia game generally, in particular this period, minimal rules. Yeah. And a lot of think thinking in the play. Mm -hmm. I mean yeah. that, that again really comes through. Um, but that's kind of normal for right. Ignitia, so we kind of pass right. over it. So we do have a number of copies of Modern Art here to be able to show you guys this. So the one that we played today was essentially the Simon edition of it. And while we're looking at it, I just want to point out something about the rule book here. Yeah. So this is the rule book. It's quite a thick yeah. looking book. Um, but the reason it's thick is because the rules are those four pages and all the rest of it is artwork of the background to the artists 
and pictures of their artwork and things of that kind. And I love the fact that this is a game where there's way more pages of stuff about the artists yeah. than there is rules. It's really cool. And I really like the fact also that these cards are oversized. I don't know how easy it is to tell if you put them next to my hand. These are more tarot card yeah, exactly. size than yep. playing card size. And this works because it makes them awkward to shuffle, but you're only shuffling them at the beginning of the game. Right, right. And then it's nice to have the larger um, scale. All right, so we have three other versions here that with first, us. Uh, yeah, so we'll start with the uh, the quote unquote oh, here, give the, the classic box. version, right? Um, the, old, is the ugly old Mr. American, American version. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and I think it's the same art as in the original European versions <laughs> right. as well. Um, so tiddly winks, right? But the yeah. artwork here, and I apologize. Uh, I'm yeah, not going to zoom on this. So instead, what I will do is I will bring it over. here here so you get oops there we go so you guys can see so not really a uh and these are just made up names for the artists because it's just one illustrator i think who did all of the uh, art as, as i'm aware i don't have this version so i can't and comment. the fifth one is there so those are examples of the the five different types of art it's fine it's functional it's whatever more tiddly winks for the uh the game shows its age here. Uh, the most famous version and the most highly sought after version of modern art is called Stamps. It's the uh, Japanese original one. It is uh, about, it's going for about 450 bucks right now uh, on the secondhand market. I, w I, I was considering um, taking a look to try and get a copy, not at 450 bucks. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's definitely a grail game for a lot of people, though, because it's it's stamps as opposed to like yeah. artwork, mm. whatever. I, I think I like that. I don't know if I would ever play with that copy, <laughs> but I would. But I just because I because I just love the the presentation uh, of the, the game. Next I don't know if you've okay, seen okay. it. The, yeah. the, no, um, the, the the they're stamps. They're not. I don't know if they're quite stamp size. It might be a little bit bigger than stamp size the pieces of art, but they're small. And and they come in this beautiful box. Oh, hey, the it's, people, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's all ahead. about the presentation. Of, it is. Of, of, it of, is. Of that one for me. So the uh, the cover for this one is is that that is of oh, between Mike and I here. Uh, the cover for the what's this one called? This is Dice Tree. It's from Korea, um, and I'm certainly moving. the way I got it was I bought it directly from Korea. They've also done another Knizzi game, um, Winner's Circle, right, yeah. um, that they've yeah. done a really good job on. So this game, this is where we got the gavel from, by the right. way. This, is, as you see, the gavel is part of it. And you know, when you've got a box where you're prepared to make a third of the box just be for the gavel, <laughs> you know this taking itself very seriously. Um, we have a rather nice easel, which we didn't use because you wouldn't be able to see right, that's um, from the camera above, obviously. And then, go ahead, show the metal coins. I know you want Yeah, them. <laughs> so it's metal coins. Um, the interesting thing about the coins is that the heads on the coins are all sort of the great artists, Manet, Van Gogh, etc., except for the 100, which is Knizia, um, which I think is totally <laughs> appropriate. And then the art, we have actually two sets of art. One set is what Edward is showing you at the moment, well, which I will is here shortly. Here, let me get a oh, couple okay. of them out. Get a few of them out. And looking for the fifth color. What is the fifth color? So we have blue, purple, green, orange, up oh, red. There we go. So this would be some of the classic artists, right? So Van Gogh, Starry Night, so, stuff like Edward that. Edward Manet, Paul Cezanne, Vincent Van Gogh. Edvard Munch and Gustav Klimt, all classic artists so. of the so late 19th, Manet, early 20th century. Cezanne, Munch, and Klimt, and then a bunch of Korean, Korean artists, art. um, all sort of old classic Korean artists, um, and. Um, the, as you see, the writing on the thing is all in Korean, which makes it a bit difficult. So I sort of have a printed out a list of their names. I looked them up on Wikipedia to try and figure out who the hell they are. Actually, no, I seem to remember I posted on BGG and asked if anybody could uh, provide the names of the artists, and BGG being BGG. Somebody came up and I was able to get more information on them. Um, see if we can. Yeah. There you go. 
All right. And there we go. So there we are. Different periods throughout Korea. Yeah. Looks like. All right. And I mean, I, I like the fact that you've got the two different sets to play with. And they're both interesting in different ways. You know, one set is very familiar. I know most of that art but in the European set, but the Korean art, I completely right. clueless on. Um, and then there's the oink version. We can move that stuff out of the way. Oh, you've got to keep the box just here for scale. So that's the dice tree version. There's the oink version. Oh, wow, that turned really blue all of a sudden. Sorry about that, guys. But yeah, the oink version. So everything's much, much smaller. So the the uh, the player screens are um, small yep. on that. <laughs> but the nice thing about the player screens, I will say, is the fact that they have the player aid actually useful on the inside there. All right. At least Granted, it's useful it's if you German, read German. But, but you know, you yeah. get the idea, right? So the board, of course, is quite small um, for the art board, as we see. But it's actually quite useful because it actually gives the counts of the um, right. artist mm -hmm. counts on there, which is handy. You've got similar kinds of chits for the money that you get in the Simon version. And the chits work quite well in this game simply because of the fact that you have to do that secret mm -hmm. bid thing. So you really do need something like chits. They even managed to squeeze an easel in here as well. If you look back there, you see amongst all those chits, there is not as big an easel as in the dice tree, but there is an easel. All right. No, uh, no gavel. No yeah. gavel, but at least an easel. And that would be the fifth type of artwork there in the Oink version. So you notice that the artists in there, Mondrian is, of course, a well-known European artist. The others are all Japanese artists, um, but are not necessarily as well-known. There's a really good article, and you can find it via the BGG page on Modern Art, where they talk about the design constraints that Oink went through for this. They talk about how they chose the artists, how they decided to squeeze this into a, actually a very large box by Oink standards, because mm. Oink games are usually, of course, really tiny. Um, and a lot of their thinking process behind the, the choice of running this art. This is the German version. Um, of all the versions, I really like this because I love the way that they've squeezed everything in. I like the, um, s the small size of it, and the art is really quite nice on the cards as well. So there you go. That gives you an idea of the various versions of modern art. Like I said, it's been published by a lot of publishers. So there you go. Those are some of the uh, versions. So hopefully that helps you guys make a decision on whether or not uh, which version to get if you do want to pick up a version. And if you do go to BGG, they have an excellent page where they show all the versions that are known, pictures of them, um, so you can get a real sense of a different. There's a couple of interesting Chinese ones. There is a Brazilian Portuguese one yes. that is arguably even harder to get hold of than the stamps one, because um, they only printed 300 copies or something, and it's crazy hard to get hold of. Um, I, I find it interesting how the original game came out without really much attention to the actual art, but then it became a big thing to, to do the interesting art, which I really like. And I, I hope we'll see a lot more people tackling um, producing games of modern art, because it's, it's, it's fun to play with the different art types and engage right. with the cards, yeah, I, I mean, there's nothing to say you couldn't do it with sculpture or anything like that. So there you go. So that is two in the books of three. Uh, give us a few minutes longer so we're not rushed so that we can uh, five o'clock work for everybody here. Yeah? Yep. All right, so we're going to do five o'clock. So 45 minutes from now, uh, we'll get Ross set up for you guys, and yeah, we'll catch you all then. So hopefully the link is down below, uh, so follow us then. I'm going to change the time on that so that we go live at 5 o'clock. Other than that, see you guys here shortly. I'm Edward. Mike. Shrey. Ken. Martin. Thanks, everybody. Like, subscribe, pledgehc.com, because inevitably that number does go down. So definitely appreciate your support. We'll see you all in 45 minutes. Take care, y'all.